TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, three hours left to go in the trading day. Final trading day of the month, final trading day of the quarter, and we got a lot going on. Markets in positive territory. S&Ps positive by 10, trading at 28.31. We get the Dow currently positive by 154 points, trading at 25,872, and the NASDAQ positive by 44 points. Going into yesterday's close, you had the Dow up about 10 more than 10 percent you have the s&p up more than 12 percent for the quarter going to be one of the biggest quarters in about the last 10 years across the board we'll start things off we got a couple things cooking we're going to start it off with lyft lyft debuting today it priced at 72 dollars last night it opens at 87.24 but for a quick glimpse that is your lift chart on a five minute basis. And as we said, opened right there, 87.24, but we've seen it slide almost under $80, saved itself a bit there, currently at $80.95. Still a relatively good open when you're talking about priced very much near the high end of its range. It started out, it could have been $60, 62, priced at 72, trading above 80, and jumping back, some cool statistics. Here's how the trading started. So talk about a lot of, vol of volume, not volatility, volume coming right in. Traded more than 28 million shares. Now that's as of 12.15. It's one o'clock already, but you can see the trail off and to put things in perspective, Snapchat traded more than 217 million shares in its debut. Two years later, 30-day trading average, only 24 million. And that is your price gauge of Lyft. Some things to look at. You have GM owning a 6.8% stake in Lyft, had been up as much as 0.9%, pairing some of those losses as you see Lyft trading back to $80. Nonetheless, pretty interesting. And you also have, what else is going on out there? Brexit not happening today as Theresa May loses 344 to 286, a loss of 58 votes on the third try. With that in mind, let's jump quickly through these charts. There's your Dow right up there near the highs of the session, 25879. NASDAQ much the same, 7387. S&Ps right near, we were, near where we were at the opening bell, trading 2831. Crude oil right at $60, 6006. Gold trading right at 1300. And there's your pound, gunning for under 130 once again, 130.02 on the British pound. Stay tuned. We got a man, Steve Rhodes, coming up right now at the Trader's Edge. Dave White live at 2 o'clock with the Power Trading Hour. And Tom O'Brien live at 3 o'clock. Have a great Friday, everybody.